Relic Passage? Relic Passage? As the name suggests, it's an underground passage built long ago. If you pass through it, maybe you'll find out who made it and why. If we call Bianca at this point in time, she'll actually be waiting inside of Chargestone Cave, as we can see in the background. There it is, shining like a diamond in the night sky, the Pokemon World Tournament. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon Black 2 and White 2. Last time we ran like cowards with a tail between our legs and got loads of shards for those lack of efforts. It was kind of incredible. Now, we're gonna enter this tournament and see what we can do. Uh, no, I don't think I'll lead with Harmony. I think I'll lead with McFly, go with Harmony, and then we could go... Uh, Jade? Yeah, Jade. I'm not really thinking too much about how well these work together. I'm just thinking about who I want to do some battling because I feel like we've seen a lot of Pignati and a lot of Aiden lately, and I'm trying to spread that spotlight around, you know? These are the Pokemon trainers who entered this tournament for the fourth time today. <laughs> it's a little funny that this keeps happening. First timer Blaze enters. Uh, we don't talk about my other appearances. That's why I've chosen that as my title. I didn't grind up any more shards, even though I think you absolutely should. I just didn't want to spend too much time here. The first round, Typhoon versus Blaze. Play sure likes things loud and flashy, doesn't he? Well, whatever. It's time to go all out. The animosity with Clay is not stopped yet. Bum -ba -dum, bum -ba -dum. For real this time! Careful who you call Ugly Piplup in middle school! Do what is level 25. Again, not that tough. Water type, torrent for its ability with the moves Aqua Jet, Water Pulse, Revenge, and Fury Cutter. I can't be the only one who thought it was like Furry Attack and Furry Cutter when I was a kid. You got paralyzed, man. You're probably gonna survive this and you're probably still gonna do Aqua Jet in spite of being paralyzed. Uh, yeah. I know my Pokemon and I know them well. McFly, oh no, you didn't go for Aqua Jet. That would've been a smart move there. I thought I'd bring up, just on the note of paralysis and us having Harmony on our team, that the whole immunity to paralysis that Pokemon with uh, Magic Guard used to have, that has been patched out since Gen 4. Meaning that it was likely a glitch, which I pretty much always figured it was. I just never really looked into it all that hard. We'll do a Volt Switch, we'll bring out Harmony, and you can fight a Simi Sage, slightly softened up for you. It's kind of funny how you're the most recent addition to the team, and yet you're that much over-leveled over these guys. Simi Sage is level 25, gr grass type, gluttony for its ability, with Seed Bomb, Leer, Lick, and Fury Swipes. Really big fan of the Fury there. Pretty in character with you, actually. And Tranquil! My bird is better than your bird. Level 25, normal flying type. Super luck for its ability with taunt, air cutter, roost, and detect. There it is. That super luck might actually have good synergy with you having air cutter. I'm not overly worried though. And even if I am, even if I was, I, got to, I avoided the attack. I know that trick and I know it well. It's a little weird how, unlike other battle facilities, you gain experience here. Items are not barred. Oh man, I lost. You become way too tough, but I'm gonna get stronger too. I wouldn't discount yourself. The fact that you apparently beat Clay with Pokemon that low level, that's still something to comp worth a comp uh, that's still an accomplishment worth being proud of. Still, the Pokemon sure look like they're having a lot of fun when they battle. Let's check out the other matches. Turn your attention to the giant screen. The first round, Carver versus Butch. I can't tell them apart. It was a jaw-dropping seesaw match. The winner is Butch. The first round, Kendall versus Colrus. An overwhelming victory for Colrus. The first round, Typhoon versus Blaze. The battle could have gone either way, but the winner is Blaze. First round, Charon versus Masashi. The winner, uh, the opponent couldn't do much at all. The winner is Jaren. Ouch. Eighth place. Let's move on to the next battle. In this corner, the young Pokemon trainer battling for his ideals, Sharon. Yay! 
Yay! Rawr! The second round, Jaren versus Blaze! I'm as thrilled as I can be to battle here against you, the first challenger I battled as a gym leader. I'm sure you've learned something about Pokémon during your journey. Now I'm going to see if your bond with your Pokémon has grown stronger. So cool how we have a connection to Sharon, and we're important to his career too, as he's important to ours. We're just intertwined, you know? Sharon starts off with Stoutland, only level 25. It can have Intimidate or Sand Rush for its ability, it's randomized. And it has the moves Tackle, Work Up, Bite, and Odor Sleuth. Looks like we got the Intimidate. Well, that's okay. I got Volt Switch, that's a special move, and we'll just swap out. Don't have any easy way of dealing with you. Stoutland can be a little bit tough. I thought that this level 25 Stoutland was illegal, but the Pokemon World Tournament stands on the same site as the Cold Storage uh, in the first game. And the Cold Storage through ru uh, Rustling Grass could potentially rarely have level 25 Stoutland. So I see this as a tribute to the location that originally stood on this plot of land. You're a little bit buffed right now. We're gonna go for Reflect. Just so that you have less options going for it. Bite! Probably a good thing I did that. We'll do Air Cutter? No! Oh, okay, that's potentially awkward. Eh, I don't think I really need to worry, actually. I think I'm fine. Harmony is holding her own pretty well. <laughs> Well, she'll be holding her way pretty well against this thing. Watchog is level 25 with Illuminate or Keen Eye for its ability, meaning that he might have brought a Pokemon with a useless ability to an official tournament. Some gym leader. No wonder he's first in the sequence. With the moves, a workup, Confuse Ray, Hypnosis, and Bite. Y'all just have something to deal with me, but it's okay. I'm bulky enough with those support moves. Critical hit when I don't even need it. Welcome to the team. You're a true member of this family. Chinchino, his last Pokemon, is level 25. Normal type technician for its ability. Work up slap. Sing. Wake up slap. No, did they work up slap? No. Work up and wake up slap. Seven moves. And bullet seat. Ah, oh, he's looking so angry at us through that adorable little smile that has menacing intentions behind it. But it doesn't matter. We take him out anyway. Good night. Such a radical victory jingle. I didn't notice that. The winner of the second round is Blaze! I made it to where I made it where I am because Pokemon are by my side. Perhaps we need to think about why Pokemon help us, and not in terms of Pokemon and trainers, but as a relationship between living beings. Let's check out the other match on the giant screen! They're just so proud of that TV, they have to acknowledge it as such every time. Butch versus Colrest! The opponent couldn't do much at all! The winner is Colrest! The second round, Blaze versus Charon! Blaze won! Now we know how strong trainers and Pokemon can become! Why yes, I proved that! Which trainer will win the Drift Vale Tournament? It comes down to this match. Blaze enters! This would be the first title win! Excuse me. Driftfield Tournament, the final round! The opponent is entering the arena! It's Colress! His wish is to bring out the power of Pokémon! Dang, there's definitely a crowd favorite here and it ain't me. The final round, Colress versus Blaze! As a researcher, it is the truth and the ideal way things should be that I seek. The latent power of Pokémon. What is the best way to bring it out? If possible, I want it to be trust between trainers and their Pokémon, just as it has always been. I look forward to you teaching me that this is indeed true! Pokémon 
trainer Colgate opens with Magneton, level 25, electric steel type, magnet pole, or sturdy for its ability, who knows? With the moves Thunder Wave, Supersonic, Thunder Shock, and Mirror Shot. You're a bit of a toughie, ain't ya? I can't really do much against an electric type Pokemon now that I've gotten rid of my low kick. So I'm just gonna get paralyzed because it's Gen 5. Everybody's doing it. Cool. Uh, the lights shining on the battle background here are excellent. I, I praise the increase in quality of the battle backgrounds a lot. Oh, Parafusion, man. Going back to my early favorite strats, are ya? <laughs> I, I used to do this an awful lot in games. I don't feel like I really do it so much anymore. Uh, we'll do the Volt Switch. You don't have Magnet Rise, meaning that I can just beat up on your weakness all while having increased defenses against your attacks. The only thing you can do to me is a Mirror Shot. Shouldn't worry about that. Uh, let's go for Bulldoze. You've already been knocked down a peg with Sturdy. Yeah, we're good. All good. LGM. Level 25, Psychic Type, Telepathy, or Synchronize. One of those does absolutely nothing to you. With the moves, Growl, Headbutt, Psybeam, and Heal Block. I went for the Dig just in case, uh, well, okay, I guess I got Growled anyway, so it didn't really matter. I was kind of hoping to maybe do a big brain move and evade the Growl, but it didn't work out. Did evade the Heal Block? No, I didn't have a move that could deal with you. Bulldoze? Heal block. God, that looks like you just stole my soul and canceled Christmas. That is the saddest sound I think I've ever heard out of a Pokemon move. Clink! Level 25, back once again. Steel type, plus or minus for its ability. It matters not, they have the exact same effect. Charge, Thundershot, Gear Grind, and Bind. Should be a pretty easy time. Man. The sad thing is, is that the best way I could have brought out the potential in my Pokemon for you would have been by forfeiting and getting a shard. Well done, I learned much from this battle! The winner is... Blaze! Just as I expected. Your Pokémon must be happy to be by your side. You bring out the best in their power. This concludes the Driftvale Tournament! See you in the next tournament! Congratulations on winning the Driftvale Tournament! Blaze, as a result of your victory, you will be awarded Battle Points! Uh... Don't you mean you will be awarded Battle Point? False advertising, man. Still an easy way to get battle points prior to, you know, any sort of late game stuff. An outstanding battle, Runtz! Now everybody's gonna wanna join in on this here tournament and show their stuff! Oh gosh, uh... I insulted you, I didn't wanna run into you again. Hey, you two! Haven't you got any wild and crazy Pokémon battles to show me? Guess I'll have to enter the tournament myself and rock the audience right out of their seats! See what I mean? People are pouring in already! If the strongest trainers from all, all over this join in, all over, it'll raise up everybody's skill, level of skill. And then, little old Driftvale City will grow even more and make a heap of money! So, keep on buzzing those battles and riling everybody up. See ya! He's so charming, man. He's just so fun. The unit of the gym leaders will probably participate in order to improve their skills. Aww, I wanted to win the tournament the first time I participated. Sorry, bud, there can be only one of us. Uh, you're telling me about battle points. Uh, old Colgate's over here, though. By having, po by having battles with many trainers, I can bring out Pokemon's abilities. Eventually, as I continue to battle, the truth of my theory will be evident to all. I barely recognized you in Blaze. You two are way different from when we battled in Aspertia City. Traveling with Pokemon makes everyone grow so much. Whoa, hey, coming through, don't pay me any mind. What was that just now? I'm going after him. Blaze, come with me. Stop. There's no reason for you to stick your necks into something so dangerous. Pokemon I'm looking for. My little sister's Pearl. Might be with them. 
I'm going to. I've got his back. Well, you gonna make it a four on one, buddy? I don't understand. That's not courage, it's recklessness. Does he think anything is possible simply because he has Pokemon with him? No, no, that's not possible. All trainers and Pokemon are bound to one another by Pokeballs. Then maybe it is this bond that will allow trainers to overcome the impossible if they trust their partner Pokemon. Well, I'm gonna go off and deal with this problem. I don't know about you. I must have the dowsing machine on, it's bothering me. Every time I don't have it on, hey! The item is visible, pee pee up! Can't complain about that. Must have been some rich guy owning that boat around here if he's not really missing that. A ship's only really a ship when it's crossing an ocean. Dock ships sure look lonely. The ship. Why is it so cold? And... It seems like it's disguised as an old sailboat. But that can't be it, right? Why should you care? By the time we're done with you, it won't matter anyway. You guys. Seriously? This is Team Plasma's base! Correct answer! So that's why, as you can see... There are so many of us here! Is this all? I think you need more backup. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so scared, big tough guy. Okay, pulverize these punks. Plasma! Hey, just to let you know, I'm about to unleash my rage. You're first. That is the most anime line ever. And in fact, there is an animated trailer for Black 2 and White 2 that was deleted off of the official YouTube channel for no reason, but you can find re-uploads of it, and it's pretty sick! And in fact, that line is so anime that they bothered putting it in the anime trailer. <laughs> Cuffing, you float around, you're probably not gonna weigh all that much, so hopefully this will offset your defense. I keep forgetting about this, Heat Crash is a signature move to the Tepig family. They're the only Pokemon that learn it, with them being pretty heavy- <laughs> Dude, you just rocked yourself! So, you, so you're a trainer who fights while believing in a Pokemon, do you? Next! Next! Hurry up already! It's my turn. Actually, it's Trubbish time! Ah, so it's Garbage Day. Gotcha. Can never resist making fun of these guys' Pokemon choices. They all just come into battle with Watchogs and heaps of trash. Not that I would know anything about making a heap of trash good. Ever since the Splinter happened, Team Plasma has become a lot more outwardly evil and less claiming to stand up for something good. They're in a populated area right here causing trouble. It feels like all bets are off and their more intense battle theme carries this well. It's so different yet so similar. Intense that sounds. That strategy had no business going as well as did Plasma! Plasma! <laughs> Just love shouting Plasma. I can see why they do it so much. It's fun to do. What's with this trainer? This reminds me of that trainer who messed up, messed with us two years ago. This is a piece of cake. Go back up, Sharon. Look around you. See how many of us there are? Just surrender already. That little punk was too intense. Special for someone whose head looks like a quillfish. If you didn't say it, I was going to. I had a feeling that Team Plasma said that at some point. I just didn't want to say it in case they did, and I was right. I'm not losing. Well, actually, I haven't, even I haven't even received a Pokemon yet. Hey, can't lose a battle if you can't battle. Hey, I remember you. You're gonna pay for Furbank. You and the gym leader are going down, so you'd better brace yourselves. <laughs> it's two against one now. Blaze! I'd like to show them what the two of us can do, so can you help me out? Double battle! We get to pair up with you! So this battle always bothered me. A lot. They got a Grimer and a Golbat, so, you know, not, not too bad. Wait until you see this! He sends out Stoutland. And in the span of, like, 10 seconds, it grew 8 levels! 
How is it already level 33? <laughs> and it's not because it's a battle facility either. Levels were not fixed. I had my levels. I commented on that while we were in the fight. So it's not because of that at all. Nice. We work together well. That's got to be some kind of record. Either he had his own joint avenue that he'd been developing in the background. <laughs> Synchro noise. <laughs> We gotta talk about this move, uh... Synchronoise! <laughs> this move has become well known for how bad it is. It's a psychic type move with 70 power and 100 accuracy, already pretty underwhelming. But it can only affect Pokémon of the same type as it. So only psychic and flying types in our case. The only types of Pokemon that can even learn this move are Psychic, Normal, Water, and Flying types. So if we consider the fact that Pokemon can only have two types, it can only possibly damage two different types at any given time on any given user. And yes, pure types learn it too. It's learned by almost nothing as well. But that's not all. I showed you that it was 70 power. And you would already be thinking, why the heck would anyone use that over, you know, anything else? That's not a fair trade-off. Well, in the very next game, Synchronoise was buffed to 120 power, which is a ridiculously huge buff. I think one of the largest buffs that any move has ever received, only challenged by maybe Liege Life. And it's never used even then. They cannot incentivize anyone to do it. Our level 30 Pokemon learning it is one of the lowest levels that any Pokemon can even learn it to. Generally, it's over level 50 when any Pokemon at all can even get it. It's terrible. There, there's so many levels that this move fails on that it's almost astounding just how it even exists. I feel like it's one of those things that should have rightfully been cut before release because there's no point in utilizing it. If I use it on psychic types on this Pokemon, it's automatically resisted. If I use it on other flying types, big deal. I can learn all sorts of moves. I can just get something that affects flying types. It's not like move compatibility is a problem for Sigilith or anything. Oh goody, we can hit normal types for neutral damage like every single Pokemon can't already do that and learn return. Gym leader is tough, but you, are you even human? <laughs> I love how overly dramatic that was. Thanks, you become mu you've really become much stronger. How about Typhoon next, okay? I need a heal. For once, a double battle helper that doesn't heal you. I'm gonna end this, so back me up! Okay, Plasma Punk, are you the thief who stole a Perlite and a Spurtia five years back? Five years back? So that was before the events of the last one. Uh, kinda again going into the fact that Team Plasma was operating in Unova for a long time and already had a large sphere of influence. I sorta like that when important events happen outside of the time that the story is going on. I feel like it's kind of lame whenever the main character of a story is really the only one who ever mattered and nothing interesting happened before their time. I like it when you got some back stuff going on before their time and all that. Coughing! It also means that um, Typhoon was a lot younger when that happened. I think that the protagonists of this game are canonically 14, so he would have been 9 at the time. One year too young to become a Pokemon trainer, so he would have just been on the cusp of it. That's... Yeah, I guess that would be why he'd blame himself for it. That's, gosh, I'm just being impressed by how much thought went into everything. With uh, the uh, Unova games, they put a lot more thought into the characters and story, uh, specifically the characters and making them a lot deeper, and it definitely shows their efforts paid off very strongly, I think. There's a reason why a lot of these people resonate with people the most out of the entire Pokemon series. And I sort of feel like this is the beginning of gym leaders just being really memorable people and not just strong people for you to go take out. Something that would stick around a lot in future games. Eradicate! Hmm. I guess I could just. Oh no, I meant to target Watch Off! No! Oh, uh, this is potentially bad. Harmony. Harmony is going to lose to a Watch Off. No! Oh, defense drop though! Water Pulse? Take out Eradicate, please! No! Don't target Watch Off! <laughs> Okay, at least losing to Eradicate is not as bad as losing to a Watchog. <laughs> All of us are level 32 now. Um, Harmony, you go... Eh, sure, we're gonna win this fight no matter what this turn. Sucker Punch. <laughs> Why'd you go for Duwad? He had so much health. There it is. No, 
this rate, I I won't be able to protect the plasma frigate. P -p 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 plasma! Hey, you're kidding! This is no good. What should we do? That's the last of them. Well now, why don't you tell me everything you know about Purloin? Good idea. There are a lot of things I want to ask about as well. What is going on? Oh, good grief. You're the person who was shivering in the cold storage, right? Wasn't your name Zinzolin? You're going to have to tell me what you're planning to do with this ship. You! Once again, we will use the legendary Dragon-type Pokémon, and we will rule the Unova region! Curious trainers, we shall not let you run around as you please. Shut up, Trahead! Get them out of here! By the way, we are not your... I know! But kick them out of here now! Move. The Shadow Triad? What's their deal anyway? Ah, Team Plasma, where did you vanish to? Man, making a whole boat disappear? Those are some impressive ninjas. I, I, I gotta say, I'm more impressed than anything else. Shadow Triad, with their superhuman powers, they can immobilize people and then disappear. But I'm more concerned with what Zinzolin said. Once again, we will use the legendary Dragon-type Pokémon, and we will rule the Unova region. What could that mean? The legendary Dragon-type Pokémon Reshiram and Zekrom aren't in Unova anymore. Blaze. There's something I want to look into, so I'm gonna head to Route 6. Be careful out there! Question's been answered what it is they're looking for that we heard about back in Nimbasa. But now... We know where our journey is going to take us next. We got to go out to Route 6, and we also got to look for Team Plasma as we travel the world. Next time on Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, we're going to hang around the Pokemon World Tournament a little bit longer and compete in some other challenges. See you guys then!